I did a thing, my friends. I did a thing. So, <laughs> well, you know, I'm a coffee connoisseur, right? How does this open? So I ordered a new Keurig. And I liked the, like, mint colored one. But I, here's my dilemma. I think this was like $90 on, I just did it on walmart.com. No, 80, I think it was 80. And the thing is, it's the single cup, like single serve one. As nice as that is, it's cute and it's small, it fits anywhere. Perfect amount, six to 12 ounces, one cup, um, like, you know, serving thing, fast and fresh brewed. It's only like $40 more for like the newest one out there. The one that supposedly does like cold coffee too. I don't really know exactly how that works, but I'm kind of like, was this really worth it? But it's cute. <laughs> I don't know. So, we have a coffee pot. I swear to you, in my time of YouTube, I have gone through so many different revenues of coffee. And in the end, I just go to Starbucks. That is being so transparent. <laughs> but I just, right now we have like a regular Black & Decker, um, you know, full pot coffee. And we were doing that pretty well through like this winter and spring. And now like we don't do it at all because we, it's, we don't really want like a lot of hot coffee because it's 100 degrees here. It's crazy. But like one cup would be fine. You know, I don't always make sense. I really don't. And I'm kind of in a funk now and I have a bunch of dishes to do. And if you notice that, if you can see that at all, I like totally burnt my hand on. It's actually, I think, okay. But I have like this cream on it right now. Uh, with hot water, like boiling hot water, and it got stuck. This is what happened. Got stuck in the uh, tongs I was using, and then I like tilted that the tongs back, and it like dumped onto my hand. He had to be there, but that's fun. And I really want to like clean the kitchen. And I'm like, thanks, hand. <laughs> I think it's okay. Anyway, this this is kind of the, been the week. Anyway, this is super cute though. Here's my other thought. Cause Nate's like, we'll just take it, like return it. And I did it on walmart.com, but return it and then just go to Costco and get after the fourth, cause I'm not dealing with that beforehand, <laughs> but and get the, the new one, you know? And I'm like, yeah, but it's not mint. And he's like, I have to go. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'm like, this guy, okay. I could put this in my room by my bed. Cause here's the thing, I just want it to get myself going in the day, in the morning, you know, before the gym. And then I'll get Starbucks on the way home from the gym. Anyway. I think my hand is actually okay. I just kind of got the, I think it helps that I've got some calluses back from weightlifting. I don't really see much and it feels a little tender, but not bad. I use this like cream that came in a first aid kit like some cheapy thing and I'm not mad at it this is this is good okay this is good news and you know what I think I'm totally digging this I think she's staying what do you think should we name her <laughs> oh man quarantine right <laughs> oh my goodness speaking of which I think that's why I'm just in this funk right now I've been trying so hard to stay positive real life this is what it is but yeah, like I'm sure where you are too, there's been some changes recently and we were kind of, you know, lightening things up a bit and now things are completely tightened up again. And where we are in Central California, you know, things have closed again, like restaurants are closed again. They can do takeout, but not like dining in. That's completely done again. And we had like two to three weeks of like being open and it just kind of I, we didn't even actually go anywhere, but the idea that you could was great. <laughs> uh, bars, wineries, all that is closed. Um, movie theaters, those actually hadn't really opened up over here anyway, so that wasn't a big thing. 
what else? Something else. It's just a lot. It's hard. It's like on one hand, you're like, you want to do your part. Of course, everyone should do what they're being told to do. I get it. But it's just so... <laughs> your mind can only take so much. And then through this, I let a fly in when I got that package. Again, they're closing the restaurants and stuff right now, but our gym is still open technically. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should be going or not. I, I get there's gonna be literally two sides to it of like, no, not right now. It's not, it's too, too soon. And there's an argument for that. And then there's the other side that goes, it's fine. Just keep your distance. You'll be fine. There's an argument for that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just, I'm a, I'm going to be positive. I will still be a positive place for you to come, but I'm just having myself one of those weeks and I just haven't really felt compelled to even pick up the camera because I'm just kind of in that mood. And, but I'm like, you know what? Real life, right? Real life. But I'm fine. It's fine. Even Nate woke up in a funk today and he doesn't do that. Like he's, he's not girly in that way of <laughs> the mood swings, right? I don't know, we're just, we're all tired, all of us, and we just want some sort of resolution, even though that's the whole point, is we're just not there yet. That's just what it is. So, yeah, we got some fireworks. Would you like to see what $100 looks like? Let me show you. And we're urged not to, like, you know, uh, be in big groups and stuff, but you can totally still, like, be with your family and whatever. So, I mean, we're just going to do you know, fireworks here, but we let the kid pick out what, whatever he wanted. Basically, you know, that it'll be a thing. He's excited this year. He's never really been overly into it because he's like me and he doesn't like, like super loud noises, but he's, he's coming around. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, my friends, there's a hundred dollars. Isn't it crazy? So crazy. But this was a friend of ours, uh, church that like it, the proceeds go there. And I was like, well, I felt good about it then, you know, but, um, isn't that just nuts? I don't even know what this stuff is. Nate's excited. He gets off tomorrow at eight. Uh, normally he gets off at like 11 on Saturday nights, but he was able to switch. So him and the kiddo, I mean, I'll be there, but it's more that, you know, the boy guy thing. They'll uh, have fun doing that. Maybe I'll show some of it on the vlog. We'll see. I'm, I'm totally digging that over there, right? We like those K cups, by the way, I've had them for months and they're, I haven't checked the expiration on them because I'm like, well, they've got to be bad now, right? But they're August, so I still have a little bit of time. So I'm going to definitely use them up. I just, again, if you've been with me forever, you know, I've just kind of had this thing with the machines and switching it up and anyway. Another update, totally forgot to tell you guys and I, I had commented back because someone asked me like, did you get your grill yet? So you guys remember we were going to, well, we, we ordered it, we paid for it and everything through Home Depot on Father's Day, I believe it was. And it was right when we, like two days after we got back from camping and we used that next grill and we bought the like upgraded one, like the four burner versus the two burner we had been using, we were sold, right? And we had to order it and they said it would be a week or two. So we're really hoping that we would get it before the 4th and we can like, you know, use it out front and whatever. So Tuesday still hadn't heard anything. It's been like just over a week. So Wednesday, Nate calls and I guess due to this virus, they have stopped production of them right now. So yeah, they'll refund us and everything, but we want it. <laughs> I'm super, super bummed, but the good news is it's not like this is forever. I just don't know now when we're gonna get it. Um, I did email the company, Next Grill, just to see if there's any way to like, can I order it through them, you know? Um, but it literally even shows on their website when I go to the exact like model that we were, you know, wanting, it says find at your, you know, Home Depot. Like that's where they seem to be contracted through, but I'm super bummed. We really wanted it. We even got like the new propane tank and everything like ready for it. And now we don't really need it, but we'll get it eventually. Just don't know when, but I thought I'd give you that little update because we're bummed about it. So cool. <laughs> Anyway, I did earlier again make a, another uh, Whole Foods order. I kind of mentioned it on my what I eat in a day from earlier in the week. And I had gotten those like uh, the 365 brand of like their version, I'm going to say, of the uh, Boca Patties. And they're good. They are. But I still prefer the Boca Patties. But I did get more of these. I got these the time before too. My kiddo loves them. Nate loves them. I love them. They're really, really good. And if you are looking for just truly a like 
just normal chicken nugget. <laughs> Nothing fancy, but a vegan version, of course. This is it. These are so good. And then my kid's really been on a kick recently of the crinkle cut fries. So I just got some of these too. I'm going to pop both of these into the air fryer and he's got his lunch. Actually, another thing I got too, I just thought I would show you guys real quick is this fried rice style, like rice cauliflower. And if you are looking at this going, oh, this like is totally like the Trader Joe's one. I hope you're right because that's why I got it. I wanted to like compare the two. So we will see. I haven't tried like the Whole Foods version, but I'm thinking the same thing. So we'll see. But yeah, can you guys see that? Like they even look so real and they're just so good. They even have the smell and everything. It's crazy. So I'm gonna put some of those. I'm gonna do six of them. Three and a half servings. Each serving size is technically four nuggets. And then some of these fries. And do these have oil on them? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yes, this does have a little bit, which will definitely help them brown up. I really like the Trader Joe's hash browns because it's literally like shredded potato and that is it. There is no oil to them. Now, not the patties, but the actual like hash browns. But yeah, just gonna heat this up at like 375, maybe 15 minutes and shake it in between. Call it good. Three eighty. We'll do that. Still love this, by the way. I need to do dishes. I made Nate like a quick stir fry before he went to work, and here's where it's at. So I have this Kasori uh, toaster oven as well. I totally use it this time of year, especially when I don't want to turn on like the big oven, you know. Um, and then we have again the Kasori just air fryer there. I use this daily. That's my tried and true. I love it. Um, I think this is great but I don't know what it is. And I guess it's really more so user error. I burn myself on this every time. Like it's kind of a joke now <laughs> of what's it gonna be this time that I'm cooking that I'll get the burn with it too. I've burnt my arm on it. The, the only thing with this is that the entire thing gets hot. Does it work great? Yes. Is it nice? Yes. Do I recommend it? Yes. But the whole thing gets hot, including like right here. And it's just so easy when you are putting your hand in to like just come down on it. I don't know, at least for me, it happens every time. <laughs> I don't know. Give the kiddo an apple too. Maybe I'll do one of these green ones um, to go with the nuggets and fries. You know, a little bit of balance. I need to have some of that orange juice still, but it like froze because it was pushed in the back and it's like, I need it to unthaw a little bit. Anyway. Now on to my lunch. That's right. Sometimes you just need PB and J. If you're having a funk, just have yourself a PB and J. And put a little extra PB only the best jelly in the world. So good. And then, please, please try these out. They're so good. Got those on Thrive Market as well, linked below. That is my quick and easy meal today. <laughs> let's let's give it a go. Mm -hmm. Yep, I've done it again. I did Whole Foods again, but this time for cleaning supplies. This is wonderful. <laughs> I have to just tell you, it's been working out so great. And like the window time that they've been giving me is almost like a four or five hour window to like get free delivery. And I'm like, whatever, that's fine, I'm here. 
and they're always like three hours early. Now, I guess this could be bad though if you obviously you want to get your stuff put inside as quick as possible. And if you are out and about, um, it might arrive earlier than you're expecting. But for me, it's just like, how can I beat this? Anyway, I'm just loving it. So uh, I'm going to continue to do it. I know it. But I thought I would stock up on some cleaning supplies. Some of these are tried and true. Some of these are brand new. So I thought I'd share them with you. So got the seventh generation disinfecting bathroom cleaner. I've never used this before in particular. However, I'll just grab it over here. Um, I have used this in a different scent, but the same thing, like just the all-purpose cleaner by 7th Generation. Love it. Very, very good. Um, so we'll see about that. I don't know. But yeah, this is the free and clear scent uh, for the all-purpose cleaner. I will more than likely just keep this in the kitchen. I like to use it on the countertops. And um, I can't remember the scent that I had before, but it was some kind of like floral scent. Um, but that was the one they had this time. And then I got one package of these by Natra, Natra Care, uh, safe to flush moist tissues. The boys like those. And these have been so, so hard to find. <laughs> um, so I saw they had them and I thought of them. Anyway, um, I did go ahead and get some toilet bowl cleaner from the 365 brand. I hope this is good because I will say overall, I feel like a lot of like a seventh generation method, Mrs. Myers, um, the brands that are more, you know, eco-friendly and stuff. Have been really good in like their price points and comparisons to like you know Clorox and some of the other you know known name brand ones out there right the price points there it's good but I feel like for toilet bowl cleaner this is not the case like they are like double the price it's kind of insane this actually wasn't that bad so I hope it works well we will see it's a citrus scent we'll see plant made from plants so okay and I got some more method glass and surface cleaner I really like this uh, this is probably like the fifth one I've used um, and then I got the 365 tub and tile in lemon cleaner as well never used this before we will see and then um, got the lemon peel dish soap, and I've never tried this before either. Right now, I am currently using, by the way, Nate still does Windex. He like won't let it go. I'm like, can we let it go? No, I don't use it. <laughs> anyway, Better Life dish soap works really well. Got that over on uh, Thrive Market really happy with it but i thought i would change it up try this and see how it does now my all-time favorite all-purpose cleaner uh like multi-surface cleaner is this right here mrs meyer's lemon verbena the scent even is this is my favorite um for again the kitchen counters love it i just do it's been around for a long time and it works really really well and i know this is totally random because it's not a cleaning supply but i got this for nate to take to work tomorrow but it's the marin Mar marin kombucha uh apple juniper never tried this brand before for uh kombuchas and he loves them so got that for him but i just wanted to share it with you real quick again i'm just loving this this is awesome <laughs> side note give you a little update because I already made myself a cup of coffee as you do. I love this thing. I'm really actually very, very happy with it. It's very simple. What I remember about the like, okay, so we had the original Keurig, like the original one that came out. And let me tell you, it lasted for like 10 years and we finally got rid of it. That's when we switched back to like a normal coffee pot. And then now here I'm back again, right? But it was the one that could do, you know, different sizes and stuff. It was great. And I loved it even when they upgraded the K-Cups and what would happen is, is like certain uh, Keurig machines like wouldn't read the new K-Cups. It was ridiculous. <laughs> it was a thing and you couldn't get it to work then. It was just this whole thing. Now I think now that they've kind of like been out even longer, I don't think that's really a thing anymore. However, this doesn't matter. It just doesn't even matter. It doesn't even really read that there's even one in here to begin with. Because my point is, if you put the water in here, you close it, you can just have hot water go through. Now the other ones, again, like the newer Keurigs and the big ones with all the different options of like, you know, the size cup you want and stuff, but you have to like set it to water first and then it'll uh, read that that's what you want I'm like no I just want it simple let me push the button <laughs> and water comes through and if there's a k-cup in there great and if there's not great because I like to just use it as a quick way to get hot water to put like a tea bag in you know 
These are little things, but they actually stand out to me. And I feel like this one's just super, super simple. So I'm really actually liking it. So it wasn't a bad idea. It wasn't a bad purchase. Anyway. <laughs>